Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about something very, very um, girlish, feminine, very womanly. And um, the material overall is something that we as well connect a little bit maybe to um, weddings, to wedding dresses, but we're not going to talk about wedding dresses. We're going to talk about tulle and what kind of outfits can we wear when it comes to tulle, what kind of dresses, what kind of skirts, because those are really the most popular what we're going to wear, dresses and skirts. And overall feel like this kind of little princesses and um, because I think that's what Tulle really gives us, kind of volume of skirts, this kind of volume of dresses. And we feel like maybe a little bit like a Disney princess or um, any other princess really. Tulle skirts are giving us very, this kind of romantic feeling, this kind of very big, big, um, like a volume of femininity to us. And I think, uh, that they are perfect for many many occasions especially if you're going maybe somewhere with your partner with your family and um, it's a nice maybe sunny day or somewhere um, like a sunday or a dinner or sunday lunch somewhere it's just this kind of material that is very very elegant but also give you this kind of very big feminine um, vibe to you and they are very very stylish they are very beautiful and obviously gives you a lot of volume and you feel like this kind of um, special lady special person especially if you are next to your um, partner or with your kids somewhere it's just this kind of really beautiful touch to your outfit you don't really need to wear anything crazy on top if you're wearing some a uh, beautiful uh, tulle skirt because those are going to be obviously um, the most visible in your outfit and those are going to create this kind of beautiful uh, look for you obviously tulle skirts can be in any color you want you can go for pink you can go for any pastel beige blue that are going to be very very soft and gentle but you can also go for some kind of stronger colors like um red uh, tulle skirt that's just going to give you a little bit more i think glam and it's going to give you a little bit more like character obviously because it's very strong color especially if you pair it with some kind of black blouse and black um, heels it does give you this kind of like a little bit feminine fatale, feminine, feminine fatale look but also this kind of um, romantic but more i wouldn't say sexy because tulle overall is not so sexy itself but it is this kind of more like a, a confident and obviously more stronger look if you go for those kind of like a lighter colors then obviously it's going to be a more more feminine but kind of softener look so obviously here you need to decide what is better for you i prefer personally those softer colors those pink those blue or beige skirts or even white those give me this kind of very beautiful vibe when i look at them the strong one are still beautiful but i feel like too strong for me personally so we talk about the red but when it comes to black ladies because obviously you can buy a black tulle when it comes to black then obviously they are dark and i think they look really gorgeous when you pair them with black uh, tights especially this kind of little bit more thicker so it can be perfect outfit for the evening for the winter even because you're going to keep warm with tights and the tulle skirt is just going to um, give you a little bit more volume under uh, on the bottom and create this kind of a fairy tale, I would say, almost look, even when it's black. It's not a problem when the color is stronger. It's just more about pairing it with other eyes. Wearing still with a bright color on the top, it still gives you a little bit softness, but a little bit more boldness, I would say, on the bottom. As I'm saying, I prefer myself more like a mm, nude colors, more like a mm pink colors when it comes to tulle and um, and those are very very popular i would say a little bit more maybe popular than black or red um, tulle skirts um, you can find them those uh, lighter color a little bit more easier i would say um, and i feel like there's many occasions you can actually wear them you can wear them to theater you can wear them with your friends somewhere the art tulle is a little bit more elegant material i would say so you would um, treat it as a maybe sometimes as an evening material or just something that it's going to obviously give beautiful impression of you but also um, create this kind of femininity 
and maybe not necessarily you're not going to necessarily wear it to work or some kind of every day i would say keep the tulle for more special occasions because it is a little bit more special material it's something i i would say similar to velvet um, and I made video about velvet, so if you didn't watch this one, you can watch um, after this video, I will put it there on the end. But I feel like this is the same category here. Velvet is more elegant material that you would wear on special occasions on evenings. And the same comes to tulle. It's a little bit more special. That's why a lot of ladies wear tulle as well for the weddings, because there's not so many occasions when it comes to uh, normal people that they have a chance to wear tulle. We don't attend balls. We don't really go and anywhere like maybe royalty that we can wear full tulle dress which is a shame because i would love to wear full tulle scare dress why not and i hope i'm going to do it one day um but yes i feel like tulle is a little bit more this category even like a little bit above than a velvet that it is for more special occasions but as you as as the trend comes um, sometimes tulle and I feel like now it's a little bit now a little bit that that you can wear tulle even for dates because it's such a romantic material that if you wear tulle skirt for a date in a pink color then you know it's just going to be beautiful touch to you and I think that's what a lady is doing most most of the time that they're wearing tulle for the dates with their husband partners because they are more special and they feel more like a princess or like a queen and um, it just gives you really really great uh, vibe to you and you're feeling more feminine wearing something like this if you're looking for some kind of contrast then i have a picture here uh, of lady that she's wearing pink tulle a skirt and everything else is black and it's still soft look but it's just a little bit more contrasty because of the black element and honestly it's a really beautiful look and I feel like it can be really, really great, especially when ladies are maybe a little bit bigger size because uh, you can hide a little bit um, in black, um, like top, but you can um, give yourself a little bit more volume on underneath. And especially for those ladies who maybe are like trying to create this kind of hourglass silhouette, this could be really, really helpful. I think um, when the bottom is a little bit brighter, darker color on the top, it just balances you nicely and you can hide a little bit if you want to hide something on the top. And the bottom is just going to um, bring more attention to you anyway, because the tulle is something that we, if we meet someone on the street who wears tulle, then we're going to look at them. We're going to look and we're going to be a little bit jealous when they, why they're wearing something so gorgeous and we are not. Another really great contrast option here, it's a white tulle skirt and everything else is red. So you can see there is this combination that you can go for one color on the bottom, like on your skirt and everything else um, similar with this black and pink combination, but here you have a red and white. So I think this is really nice idea to do it, that you just choose color of your skirt and everything else, you're going to make it a little bit more contrasting. And that just gives you something more, a little bit more interesting um, to play with around. Uh, you could also obviously go for something more like soft that you're not going to uh, do any contrast. Your outfit is going to be maybe white shirt, beige um, tulle skirt and some kind of beige bag, beige, um, beige <laughs> heels. But um, then you can go for the stronger outfit as well. So you can choose basically what you're feeling more comfortable and what is the situation you're obviously wearing this for and what kind of effect you want to achieve in the end because obviously you can be more soft or you can be a little bit more bold so that's just um, honestly something you need to decide what works well and best for you and how you're going to feel the most confident if you want to be a little bit more feminine um, not so um, like bold and I would go for the softer colors but if you feel like you like to provoke sometimes and wear something that people are really going to notice and you're going to make a statement then this look I think is a little bit better for that so as you can see you just need to choose what it, what is the best for you and that's it but both looks are absolutely gorgeous the both looks are absolutely stunning so there is no really wrong option here. So you can just choose which one is better for you. When it comes to very long skirts, ladies, I feel like those might be a little bit too much. So it's nice to wear um, more like a normal uh, events. Like I said, you can go for a date with your partner, with your boyfriend with this kind of like a shorter or like knee length or even like a calf length um, skirt. 
but when it comes to those very long i think we really more connect them to weddings even if they are a little bit more different color so i have a picture here lady she's wearing pink a uh, tulle skirt and you would think that this is going to be a wedding dress even though that skirt it is more dif it is different color it's more stronger color i think now people accept that you don't wear only white for the wedding you can wear different colors and i would say if i would see someone like this then i would say that this is more like a wedding gown or like a skirt um, attached to your wedding you know top or something so um, I wouldn't really recommend you to wear anything like this um, for like normal occasion or even like if you want to go to theater Skirt this length. I don't think it's uh, for this occasion. It is more connected to weddings and Fortunately, unfortunately, that's how it is. Let's talk a little bit about dresses because those can be a little bit more tricky I think it's easier to actually buy a skirt and wear the skirt with tulle Rather than now buy a full dress, tulle dress, let's say like this blue one and now you need to find an occasion to actually wear that and you know enjoy enjoy yourself in it so obviously um you're not going to wear that and go to gross gloss grocery store but um i think they are occasion and you can still wear it but obviously um you need to find them it's not going to be that you just they're going to appear and you're going to go to friends in this kind of dress only if maybe there is you have a friend who own i don't know a castle <laughs> but if you um try a little bit to find those kind of occasions like let's say there's going to be some kind of charity ball and it's going to be a black tie event and um, people are going to wear some kind of um or maybe not even black tie event maybe some kind of like event that there is clarified that you people going to ladies going to wear a ball gowns and then if you see that there is a dress code and you can wear a ball gown then that's the type of event you're going to dress you're not going to really dress this kind of this kind of dress you'll be full dress for something that um you know like i think even opera this might be a little bit too much you know maybe if it's a darker color and a little bit shorter so let's say it's not a full length it's just like a calf length and it's a dark a little bit darker color then i would say opera yes but because this is a full length dress then this is a very very special piece of the garment and obviously you can wear it at home if you feel like you want to feel like a queen today then wear it at home eat your dinner like this you can ask your husband or partner dress in the suit or or some kind of um black tie um suit and it's going to be fine you know you can do that you can prepare a special evening for your friends as well and you can clarify guys let's just feel a little bit special and let's wear very very like fancy today and people you know in this time especially now you can't go anywhere um people might take it as an opportunity to as well dress up and feel a little bit more uh, elegant with a little bit more like top shelf you know so um, if you're feeling like you really would like to wear something like this, then that would be probably my first. I would talk to my friends. Let's do something special like this. Let's do um, even in someone's house because restaurants are closed now. Uh, and let's all of us dress really, really fancy. And then you can dress like something like this. But if you're feeling like you want to show this to the world, then you just need to look for the places then when actually uh, clarify that the dress code is a ball gown. And then you can wear something like that. It it is not easy to do now because most of the people um, even when I was um, last time in theater in no it was a ballet when I went to um, in, in Edinburgh people were wearing jeans people were wearing some clothes that you would expect they're going to actually treat it a little bit more serious but um, honestly there is this kind of culture now people don't care you know um, and it's going a little bit wrong direction so people don't care but they're going this kind of like a um down you know they don't really upgrade themselves they go bottom like trying to reach the bottom you know like the wearing worse and worse rather than better and better which is a little bit shame because you could go another way so you go to theater and you were really like um more elegant you are very elegant and i feel it would be better you know but obviously this is this culture where we're living now that everything is acceptable when it comes to dress code everywhere almost everywhere so yeah shame but um lucky for us not many people were elegant so when we actually were elegant we are not like everybody else <laughs> so that's that's one of the positive because people really don't dress elegant those days they just dress um 
whatever they you know grab in their wardrobe but after said that going back to those ball gowns um yes you can wear them you just need to really a little bit do more a little bit more research when it comes to um those special occasions but i'm sure that you can find them in the area you live obviously it's going to be harder for people who live in a smaller um, villages smaller towns like i live in a really small village so you're not going to find anything like this but i don't have a fire from glasgow or edinburgh so once things are open and they are coming back to normal i will find events to wear something like that but obviously if you're wearing in a really tiny village and there is miles and miles and miles to your the bigger city then obviously um, the opportunity opportunity to find a place like this is going to be more complicated for that reason you can as that's why i'm saying for that reason you can just speak with your friends who have similar thinking that they would be um, happy to dress like that and do a party like this at home, you know, do more official even uh, like a dinner party, prepare some kind of really special, maybe free for course and um, dinner and people going to dress like this. And why not? You know, I don't see the problem with that. I feel like we need to create occasions. Sometimes if there is no occasion for us, we need to grab an opportunity to do so. Okay, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video about Tule. I highly recommend you to invest in the future not now but in the future when you already will be feeling that yes that's the time to shine <laughs> uh, invest in nice skirt your skirt because those as i'm saying are a little bit easier to wear and dress but if you feel like you have an option for some kind of uh, beautiful events that you will be able to wear a ball gown go somewhere maybe for dancing for this kind of more special places then why not why not to buy a dress like that especially now when the um, you know this uh, tutamatoshi she is starting getting like um very very famous because of what she's doing of what dresses she is making and obviously it is a little bit harder to wear them because there's not so many occasions like that but i feel like um if you have a bad day and you feel like you really need to bring yourself up motivate yourself again then if you will dress like this and even sit at home and drink your coffee in the morning believe me you're going to feel better so this might be an occasion to actually buy something that obviously you're going to have forever in your wardrobe because you're not going to wear that every day you're going to wear that only a few times in your life and um, then to maybe have some special dress like this and when you're really feeling down maybe that's a good op good chance for you to bring yourself um, to the better mood by wearing something really really good after I said that, you know, you need to obviously decide uh, if it's worth it for you to spend money. I'm not saying to spend crazy amount of money. I'm not saying that I could wear um, Tutamatoshi dresses because I feel like they are worth it, the price, because they cost like about a thousand dollars, thousand, maybe one thousand five hundred, maybe two thousand. I feel they are worth it for the craft she has, but not necessarily I could afford that, you know. So I, I'm sure I could find something as an alternative for the dresses she's making for much cheaper price and i could probably buy it and keep it in the wardrobe for some kind of occasion well ladies i hope you enjoyed this video i feel like tulle is very romantic so i'm i am going to talk more about m more and more about romantic style more and um, I'm going to talk about, I feel like I'm going to focus more on ladies that are more feminine and this channel is going to go into this kind of direction that I just needed to, you know, grow in this direction as well myself, that it is going to be more about femininity and romantic um, type of elegance that's it you know i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a thumbs up and see you in the next one